Hello, welcome to the Daily Sporran, and today I'm going to do Fallen on Hard Times from the 1982 Broadsword and the Beast album, a song that's really about the economic and political times in which it was written in the early 80s, a time of collapsing economic growth, uh, rising unemployment, rising inflation, doom and gloom everywhere, politicians like Reagan and Thatcher coming into power, promising to turn it around, struggling to do so. It's a kind of woe is me song about the, the state of the economy, really, by Ian Anderson, with some blackly comic lines like they've repossessed the Rolls Royce and the mink. Must be that must be bad if that happens, eh? Um, but it's also got some pretty angry stuff about politicians in it, which is what I think this song's really about. Uh, politicians who overpromise and underdeliver. Politicians, politicians who say there's milk and honey just round the bend, and then there never is. Now, musically, I think Broadsword and the Beast has got some wonderful melodies on it. I've said before, it's perhaps melodically my favourite Tull album. But this song is distinguished not for its tune particularly, but for two other things. One is a fantastic screeching slide guitar from Martin Barr, which is really worth listening out for the next time you hear the song. And secondly, a middle eight, uh, the eight bars in the middle, which repeated actually, two middle eights, which for me illustrate the compositional brilliance of Ian Anderson. And at the end of the song, I'm gonna do a one minute kind of tutorial for you, for those of you who have got the musical nerdiness about the architecture of songwriting that I do, to show you why I think the chord progression of the middle eight is so clever and so well crafted. Anyway, hope you enjoy the song, wish me luck.
Thank you very much. And for those of you still with me, let me give you my one minute tour of why that middle eight is so clever. So this is a song with odd guitar tune. Well, it's not, it's my guitar tuning really. It's not in the song because there's no acoustic guitar, but it's uh, D, A, D, G, B, D. And the song's in D minor. And the middle eight is in A minor. And the middle eight, the middle part of in between verses, its job is to take you away from the key of the verse and take you to a different musical world just for a few bars and then transport you back to the chords of the verse, D minor. So how do you get back from A minor to D minor in eight bars? Well, Ian Anderson does two four bar sections here. Uh, the first is a short walk back and the second is a long walk back around the back of a house and through the back door. This is how he does it. Starts in A minor, to C, to G with a suspended fourth, and then a G. And then to B flat, and to C, back to D. Quite straightforward. And he starts again, and it sounds similar. A minor, to C, and G, and you think it's the same, but wait a minute, B flat is early, and then it goes to F, and then it goes to D, and then it goes to E7, and then it goes to A. Now that's each part of that, each sec section of that middle eight is actually not that complicated, but the contrast is so clever because when he starts the second half and repeats the first part of the first half, you think, oh, I know where this is going, but then he takes you on this detour through chords and then you arrive back on time. It's incredibly clever and very effective. Okay, enough of that. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks.